Yeehaw! Welcome to Cooking with Puffa Tuck and Puffa Tuck's Backyard. Today we're going to do us up a special and uh, this is going to be uh, beer can chicken smoked. So we're actually going to get the smoker going. We're going to show you how to do beer can chicken on the smoker. It takes a little while to do, but my God, it's good. And I mean, you don't really need too much to do this, a few chickens. And I actually went down to a new uh, fish uh, and meat market there in Eggertown. Um, and I'll, sh I'll, I'll actually, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go through the place on the camera, not on this show, but maybe in another and show you who they are. It's called Eggertown Meats and uh, Fish Market. And uh, right here on the beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard, they're right there where the movie store used to be. Can't miss them, they're right in there near the post office. Now for this show, what you're going to need, I'm going to use up some uh, charcoal, okay, and I like to use briskets, but this is hickory flavor. So I, because this is going to be a real nice hickory smoke. I've got some hickory wood back here I'm going to put on there. Show you that in a minute too. And uh, I actually picked up some Black Label beer. Uh, this is out of Canada now, but I was lucky enough to get it. And I've not seen this beer in a long time. My dad used to drink this when I was knee-high to a grasshopper. Oh my God. Boy, did he yell, yee-haw, and he had himself a six-pack of Black Label. But anyhow, and then I, I got our chicken. I'll show you that after. Okay, we're going to be... I got two, two uh, real nice sized chickens I'll show you in a little while. We're going to make a little rub for them and everything. And uh, we're going to use some oil. And uh, of course you got to have some light fluid to get all this going. So I'm going to get the smoker going, okay? Because it's going to take a little bit to get so we get this smoking. So let me load this up. Put enough charcoal right in there like that. Get this baby up here. And we'll get that baby lit up. Be careful with your lighter fluid when you're doing this, but I'm going to soak her right up and get her going. Then when I start bringing this up to temperature, I'll, uh, I got my brush and I'll wipe my grills off there a little bit. This smoker's awesome. I love this thing. Look at that. We got that. We got enough on there. I'll get that baby lit up. You go over here and get a lighter. Let that soak in there for a minute. And come over and get this baby lit. There we go. It opened up my air to it all the way. So we get that cooking. I'm going to let that start coming up. Let the flame die down. I'll put a little bit of wood on there. And uh, I also like to use apple tree wood. Oh my God. You can actually take some apple tree and uh, get it real thin, you know, with a hatchet. Bring it right down small. Soak it up. Soak it up 24 hours in water. And then after the fire gets going, the coals start setting down. You can put them right down there. And boy, does that make a nice smoke flavor too. So that's apple tree wood. So while that's coming up, I'm going to throw a couple pieces of wood on there. Let that die down just a little bit. And then I'm going to clean this smoker up. So actually, we're going to shut that top right down and let it start coming up to temp. Let that start coming up to temp a little bit. It'd be easier to clean that. And I'm going to clean that with my brush. So yeah, I can't wait to bite into this stuff. Mm. All right, I'll get that other one set in a minute. Let's check our smoker now over here. This thing is smoking up nice. Look at the smoke coming out the chimney on my smoker. And uh, my temperature is starting to get up there real nice. What we want is about, look at that. Look at that. I love it. Let's let that keep coming up to temp. And now uh, we're going to bring this up to about 180. And this is going to take a few hours to smoke these. So, but I'll, I'll show you that. I'll get back over here and I'm going to get this other chicken prepped. Okay, now we opened up our beer. And it's time to stuff our can in there. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll take that other one. Stuff it right in there. There we go. Set it on there. Pull the legs forward. Just like that. What you're doing with the legs, like I said, you're building a tripod. Okay? You're building a tripod out of the chicken so he stands up. It's so easy. Then we're going to take some oil. And I like to use oil. You can use olive oil or anything you want. And I'm going to coat all the skin on this thing. Okay? Very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump it right in my hand and I'm going to coat this baby. Just like this. Just like that. Coat it right up. Just like that. Smother it in oil. There we go. Look at that. Now this hand's all oily. Now remember to keep your hands clean. We're dealing with poultry. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to take, you can use any kind of a dry rub you want. Um, I've got dry rub recipes. You can go online at papabooks.net. And you can, you can copy and paste this out. You can copy and paste out some dry rubs to use. Okay, we're going to put 
garlic powder on here, or garlic salt, whatever you choose, because I like to put it, and we're just going to sprinkle it right over the top of this baby. Just cover it up. There you go. And I am going to put some seasoning salt on here. Okay, any kind of a seasoning salt. And like I say, you can use any kind of dry rub you want, you know. You can put some spices on there if you'd like to. But we're just going to sprinkle that right on there. Look at that. Sprinkle it on that skin. That oil's going to soak that right in. I'm going to turn that right off. And I'm going to go over here and check my smoker. And we're going to actually put these on if they're ready. Our temperature is up to 150 on our smoker. So look at that. Yeah, I love smoking in the backyard of Papa Tox. We're going to clean these babies right up. And then we are going to set our chickens right on here. Just like this. No big deal. Set that right over here. Let's bring our chickens over so that they don't fall down. Remember, they're on a tripod sort of setup with a beer can. Beer can chicken. We're going to put these babies right in here like this. I'm going to take them off of my pan that I prepped them on, and I'm putting them in here by themselves. So I'm going to take this up, this, and set it right in there like that on the beer can. And I'm going to take them legs over, and we're going to make sure that they don't fall down. <laughs> There's one. We're going to take the other one and do the same thing with it. Get it right on there. And two. Pull them wings in there like this. I like to put the wings inside the legs. And we're ready to smoke these babies. So now, let's get this out the way. Here, put the oil right back on there. There we go. A little bit of extra flavor. And I'm going to pull my top down on my smoker. And we're going to smoke. Let me make sure they didn't fall down. Oh no, look at that, huh? Put that right back down there. We're ready to smoke. Now I'm going to close my chimney stack. Because I got it wide open because we were getting her going. And I'm going to play with this for a little while. And I'm going to make sure that my temp remains 180, 200, somewhere in that range. No more than 220. We're going to play with that. And we're going to keep an eye to our charcoal and things like that. Now, if you're wondering how long this takes to do, you come over here. And you, what you did is you picked yourself up a 12-pack of Black Label beer. You got two in the chickens. You got 10 left. So I figure it's going to take about 10 beers to finish this. Yeah! Now let's see what our smoker's at over here. Our temperature is getting up. Let me get the sun out of it. We're at 175. We're just about there. I'll close this down just a little bit more. That'll bring the temperature up. I want to get that right about 180. I'm going to leave my top down. There's no sense opening that yet. Now I'd like to take a minute. And say thanks to MVTV. Without them, we wouldn't be here in the backyard on Pop Tuck Smoker. I do all my shows with MVTV. Of course, we upload all over the country, 48 states or something to that effect now with like 60 million viewers. And uh, within the next few weeks on one of my shows, I'm going to be showing my new book, um, Life with a Fisherman. And you're going to love that. You can, you can see that at my website too. But I'd really like to thank the, all the people down to MVTV here on the island of Martha's Vineyard. And if you're out there, Stop right down and say hi and thank them. They're doing an awesome job. And don't forget, when you're in the stop and shop here on the island and you see that food pantry box, throw something in there. There's a lot of hungry mouths out there. Don't forget the hungry. All right, well, let me get over here and check this temp again real quick. Oh yeah, that came up another couple degrees. We're just gonna keep an eye to it and let her keep smoking. It's time to sit down and relax. What a beautiful day on the island. You can't beat this. Yeah, I love this. We got the smoker going. It's gorgeous out. You can't beat this. What a beautiful, relaxing day. And uh, the people are starting to get here to the island, so I'd like to, I'd like to stress a point here to the islanders, be careful because the tourists are coming back again. We don't, especially the mopeders. Watch out for the mopeds, okay? And, uh, oh, I'd like to show you something. I'll go over and grab it. When I was down in Egertown, one of my buddies gave me something. Obi, Obi down in Egertown says to me, goes, Papa Tuck, I got something for you. I want you to do some shows with it. Let me go get it. I'll show you. It's got to get cleaned up, but this is going to be a project. Let me go grab it. This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. I'll, get it. I'll bring it right over here so you can see it. Let me get it right down here so we can see it. Now, I got some work to do with this. Look at this. Now, this is old. This is old, but 
I'm going to hook up a, an LP gas tank to this. I'm going to clean these burners all up. I'm going to sand this all down. We're going to use some navel jelly on it to get the rust off it. And uh, we're going to do us a beach party. I'll show you that when we do it. We can actually throw lobster in here, crab, clams, corn on the cob. Oh my God, a little linguisa. This is awesome. Look at this pot came with it. Look at that. I mean, I got some work to do. We're going to get this baby all, all cleaned up and I'll show you that on another show. But that's going to be fun down to beach. Let's go over here and check our temperature on our smoker. Look at this baby go. We are at 200, that is ideal. That's an ideal temp. I'm gonna cut back on my chimney stack a little bit. And I'm actually gonna go over here and cut my air a little bit down. Cause we got a little bit too much air coming into the burn. So we're just gonna cut that down just a little bit. And we'll try to neutralize that temperature. And I figure maybe another, well, nine more beers and I should have this done. Yeehaw! All right. Now it's been about three beers. And uh, what we're gonna do, you'll know when this is done because I haven't even opened this thing up yet. And uh, what I'll do is I'll make sure that the temperature without hitting the bone when I poke my meat thermometer in there is about 180. That's when you're gonna know this is done. But if you watch it too, your meat will start coming up on the drumsticks away from the, the end of the bone. So I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I'm, I'm still not going to open this up. We're just going to keep letting this smoke. Since the last time I showed you that door open, I have not opened that door. We're just going to let it keep smoking. Our temperature right now is 220. It had gone up to 220, okay? Um, I closed my chimney just a little bit and I shut some more air off, to try to bring that a little bit down lower, but that's not going to hurt anything. 220 is fine. Don't worry about it. Just let it smoke. All right, it's been about four brewskis. We're gonna go over here and check this a little bit and see what they look like. Maintaining a really nice temperature. So let's go check these out. I'm gonna pop the top and we'll take a peek at them. Our temp is about 218. Oh, look at that. Look at that. These things are browning up nice. Camera, get a close up on what these look like. <coughs> and oh my God, smell them. They smell delicious. I don't want to leave these open too much because I want to lose my heat. I want to put it right back down there. But they're smoking up. Nice. Let's get that top back down there. And we'll just start letting this baby smoke up again. All right. Now, I want you to, I want you to know out there, this stuff is delicious with a macaroni salad, corn on the cob, potato salad. Anything served with this on the dish is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful picnic day for the family. You can't beat it. And it's very inexpensive. I mean, my God, the price of chickens and a salad, can't beat that in this sucky economy. We're about an hour off, maybe three more beers, and this is done. I'll show you there in another half hour or so, we'll pop this top again, but we're, we're leaving the top shut. We're letting it smoke. All right, let me get the binoculars on here. We're going to go check our temperature of our smoked chicken. It's been legitimately about one hour, so... Let's see what our temperature is over here. We're doing a temp on the smoker, a little bit over 200. It's been like this since, oh my God, you're going on like, I don't know, 45 minutes like this. I'm gonna open this baby up. Look at that. Cameron, wanna get a close up? Look at these babies. I can actually see the beer steaming out of the top of these chickens as they're smoking. Oh my God. That juice is running all through these. Oh my God, do these look good. And they smell delicious with that rub I made on them. So let's take our temperature of these things. Look at these babies. Now I'm gonna poke this in, into the meat. And I'm gonna be very careful that I don't touch the bone. And our temp is coming up. Let me take a minute to get here. We're at 175. Almost 180 on that one. Let's check the back one. And we're about 180 on that one. And what we did earlier is we moved these chickens, we equaled them down here because the smoke's coming up like this and rolling in here. And I moved them down so that they would heat more evenly. So we're gonna let these go maybe another, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, and I got a feeling they're gonna be done. And uh, I'd like to take a moment and thank my sponsor, 
Now, AIM, AIM HVAC here on the island of Martha's Vineyard, and uh, I'll put them on the website at papabooks.net so that you can get their phone number. But they sponsored this show. They, they went down to the, uh, that new meat store in Egertown, Egertown Meat and Fish, and they purchased these chickens down there for this show. And uh, my God, these are good chickens. So, thank you, AIM, thank you. They're doing a wonderful job here on the island installing air conditioning systems for the residents, and they do a wonderful job. Uh, heating systems, air conditioning systems, and it's that time of year. Yeah, I love it. So we'll, we'll check these here in another 10 minutes to check the temp on these babies. All right, I'm going to check my wood fire and my coal over here. Oh, that's doing awesome. I want to shake that up just a little bit. Get the bond knockers on. Now be careful, that's hot. We'll stir that up a little bit. Get that baby smoking again. That smoke's rolling right through there. We're at a temp of two. Oh, yeah, it came up. It's 225 now. I tell you, be careful with your smoker. We're going to shut that chimney down just a little bit. Try to get it down near 220 again, okay? And I want to check these temperatures again. It's been another about 10 minutes, so let's check the temp again. Oh, look at these. Oh, my God, are these ever looking good? Look at the juices running down out of that beer can. Beer can chicken. Yeah, you can't beat that. Let's check the temp. Now I'm sticking that thermometer down in there and I'm not touching the bone. I'm staying into the, you know, the meat part of the breast. And as you can see, I think they're about done myself without looking at the temp because if you look at the, the legs, the skin is starting to come up and the bone's starting to show. Oh my God, do these ever smell good. That's done. Let's check the other one. Let's check that other one. Let's go into this part of the bone or the meat right here. Get it right in there like that. And that's done. These things are 185 and 180 is done on the thermometer. So I'm going to get these off. Oh, look at the juice run out of that thing. I want to double check this side just to be sure because it is poultry. Well, I uh, see on this side, so you got to be careful because the smoker's not an even heat like a convectional oven. On this side here, we've got 178. We're going to go a few more minutes because I want that to be at 180. So let's just let it go a few more minutes. Let me pull that out. Just like that. We're going to shut that top back down. We're almost there. I would think maybe another black label and these babies are done. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? Let's get serious here for a minute. I'm Peter from Papa's Cooking Show. A lot of you have probably seen the show where I'm teaching people how to cook and it's based on my cooking book. I'd like to get serious here for a minute. I want you to know that this is all about the food pantries. I'm filming these shows on this beautiful island, Martha's Vineyard, in the state of Massachusetts. And, you know, even here, we've got, we've got hungry people. My show and my books are all about feeding hungry people, and I'm trying to do that through the website. I have a website where people can go and purchase my books. Portions of my proceeds are going to food pantries all over the United States. On my website, you'll notice that I'm gathering new authors and old authors. They're joining me in this venture, and everybody's going to be donating to Food Pants. One thing that I would like to stress is the next time you're in a grocery store, everybody goes to the grocery store to get food. I am starting to work with grocery chains. There's going to be food pantry boxes through their local food pantries. The next time you see one, throw a box of hamburger helper in it. I mean, that little box of hamburger helper feeds a family of starving children. So I just want you to know that's what my show is all about. And, you know, just keep watching. I've, I've got guests coming on from all over the world. And it's, it's really starting to, to touch my heart with the things that are going on. I have people coming up to me and say, hey, thank you. I just donated a couple cans in the box down at, at Stop and Shop, for instance, right here on Island. Totally awesome. Stop and Shop is doing their part. It's time for you people to do your part. Help the hungry people in, in the United States. And yeah, I'll see you on the, on the show. Have a good day. I'm going to be going down now to the beach down here, and the offspray have built a beautiful nest, and they're having their young in it. We'll probably do that in another show. I want to show you what, oh boy, there's the phone ringing. Hey, Matt, see who that is. Oh boy, here we go. Louis Pool Hall, how you doing? No, eight ball tonight. No, 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 no. No, he's not here. No, this is Louis Pool Hall. 
Yep. Yep, sorry. Yeah, wrong number. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> There's somebody looking for my son. <laughs> you need to be called Louis Puha. Yeah, I love it. Let's check this chicken. Like I was saying earlier, though, we're going to go on down the beach here, probably in another show, and the osprey have built a big, beautiful nest up on top of a telephone pole. And I actually seen him coming in the other day with a heron in his, t in his paws. He come right in there and he was feeding his young. It was really cool. So I'm going to go down there and try to get some pictures of that. All right, these chickens are just about ready to come off. So I'm going to check them here again, keeping a close eye on them now because our temps are really up there. Let's stick that baby in there one more time. I'm thinking they're done. Look at the, that skin is rolled right up on the bones of the drumsticks. Oh yeah, this climb right up to 180 real quick here. Yep, 180. So that one's done. Let's do a double check back here. We know this one's done from prior. Oh yeah, that's way over 180 right there and not going down. So let's get these things off. We set that over there. Camera want to get a close up. Look at these things. These things are awesome. Look at the skin on that. And my God, do they smell good. I love it. Let me go over here and get the pan. We'll get these things off. Now you gotta be careful taking these off because there's probably still some uh, beer in the beer cans. But let me put my grabbers right in there like that. Look at that. Oh my God, does that ever look good. Let's get this one off. Like I said earlier, these things are, look at that. These things are awesome with a salad, some corn on the cob. Let me cut some meat off here. I'll show you what they look like. Let me get my knife over here. Now these are hot, so be careful. Now, usually you let these things cool for about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna carve this a little bit for you. Look at, oh, look at the juice run right out of that. These things are so moist, it's not even funny. And that's what the secret is to the beer can, the beer can chicken. Everything is so moist, look at that. Look at that, look how juicy that is. Oh my God, does that ever look good. Oh, corn on the cob, little macaroni salad. You wanna let it cool a little bit now. Look, I gotta taste this. I have got to taste this. Oh my God, and does that ever smell good? I'll tell you, they got really, really good product down there at that new store. Oh my God, that's to die for. Absolutely delicious. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, those things are good. Wait till you do these things in your backyard. Now, if you don't have a smoker, you can do these on your barbecue grill, okay? They don't take as long. But all in all, these things took about an hour and 10 minutes to smoke. At right between 200, well, between 180 and 225 up and down on the smoker. Because it's really hard to control it. You gotta keep a close eye to it. Keep a close on your, uh, you know, eye on your coals. Keep stirring them. Keep your smoker smoking. Keep the top down. That's the secret on a smoker. Keep the top down. You don't have to keep peeking at it every five, ten minutes. Keep it down. Let it smoke. Sit down and relax in your yard and enjoy the day. All right. Well, there you go. Papa Tuck's beer can smoke chicken. You're gonna love it. Well, that's it for the show. And remember, you can do this in your backyard. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.
push away the walk away I can't return I know the truth and it will be me please don't please don't please don't Yeah.